In this video, we'll be completing a simple gas stoichiometry problem. 40 billion pounds of ammonia are produced annually in the United States. If 2.5 liters of nitrogen gas is reacted with excess hydrogen gas, how many liters of ammonia gas will be produced? Assume that the pressure and temperature remain constant. This is Fritz Haber. He was the man who developed the procedure called the Haber process for manufacturing ammonia. Ammonia manufacturing is extremely important to us. 40 billion pounds are produced each year. Um, and its principal use, of course, is fertilizer. So the reaction is nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas makes ammonia gas. Now, in order to carry out stoichiometry, we know that the coefficients are very important. In fact, the coefficients um, tell us the relationship between reactants and products. So be sure that you balance your reaction. Okay. If 2.5 liters of nitrogen gas, that's this stuff, react with excess hydrogen, so we're going to have extra hydrogen. We don't even need to worry about hydrogen. How many liters of ammonia can be produced? This will actually be a fairly straightforward problem because pressure and temperature are remaining constant. If temperature and pressure are constant, then the law of combining volumes tells us the ratio of volumes will be constant. Sounds confusing, um, but let's look at an example. You already know at STP that one mole occupies 22.4 liters of space. Now, if we don't change the temperature and pressure, it stands to reason that two moles would take up exactly twice as much volume, right? That makes sense. So if we're not changing the temperature and pressure, um, what we can do is just kind of treat these um, coefficients almost as if they're volumes in, 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 a, in a way, so to speak. So start by writing your given like you would in any stoichiometry problem, 2.5 liters of nitrogen gas. And now we want to determine the relationship between the given and the goal. In this case, our given is nitrogen and our goal is ammonia. So the relationship is 2 to 1. So we have nitrogen in the numerator. So here we need one mole of nitrogen in the denominator. And one mole of nitrogen gas will react to make two moles of ammonia. That's in fact what this tells us. One mole of nitrogen reacts to make two moles of ammonia. That's what these coefficients mean. And because the temperatures and pressures um, stay the same, um, this is all there is to this calculation. So our answer is simply five liters of ammonia.